Faith of our fathers, living faith, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy whenever we hear that glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to you till death. Faith of our mother's daring faith, your work for Christ is love revealed, spreading God's word from pole to pole, making love known and freedom real. Faith of our mothers, holy faith, we will be true to you till death. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we gather today on another beautiful day, a day where God gives us life. No matter what the weather may be outside, it is a day to rejoice because we are breathing and we are able to listen to God's word. We are able to examine our lives, to seek repentance of our sins, and to follow in the footsteps of our loving Savior. As we contemplate this glorious day, we realize that in God's perfection, we allowed sin to enter. And because of that, our nature has been warped. It oftentimes seeks its own pleasure and not the will of God. For those times when we have sinned, let us beg for mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who enlightened the Slavic people through the brothers, St. Cyril and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect, and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. Through our, excuse me, <coughs> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider it all, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives all to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up and its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flowers droops, the beauty of its appearance vanishes, so will the rich person fade in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. 
Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Alleluia, 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 <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisee came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed at the depth of the Spirit and said, Why does this generation seek out a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to another shore. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's first reading comes to us from the very beginning of the letter of St. James. And I think it's important for us to understand that once again St. James is reminding people that the things of this earth, the things of this earth that we grow rich in, whether it be possessions, whether it be power or influence, whether it be relationships, things, that everything is going to turn to dust. All the beauty of gold will wither, rust away. And it's important because we should build up those treasures of the kingdom of God, those spiritual treasures which will help us enter into God's glory. And I really do love how he ends this passage today. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass. Remember the grass that is so beautiful, so green, so luscious. But eventually the sun will dry it up. Its flowers droops and the beauty of its appearances vanish. That is what creation does right before our eyes. And then St. James says, So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. We should keep our eyes fixed then. Our eyes fixed on the glory of the kingdom. And seek those spiritual treasures which will lead us to eternal life. I know many of you think that today we celebrate the Feast of St. Valentine. But as you know, that has become a very commercialized day, filled with these cute little hearts and these cute little cupids. All of this would have nothing to do at all with Valentine. But instead, today the Church celebrates the Feasts of St. Cyril and Methodius. Cyril, who was a monk, Methodius, who became a bishop. They were both really Slovakian. And really what they wanted to do is they wanted to help translate the liturgical texts, 
They wanted to translate the scriptures into a language where the people would understand. And so they did into the Slovakian language, almost inventing what would be called the Kyrillic alphabet. But you know, anytime someone wants to do something different, they had great opposition. And both of them were called to back to Rome. Cyril died in Rome. But Methodius was consecrated a bishop, and he was a great evangelizer. He had great fervor. But yet, he had much to bear. Many attacked him and were envious of him. But he had the protection of the Pope. So today, we honor St. Cyril and Methodius, those who are very well respected and honored in the modern Czech Republic. I myself, part of my family roots come from Slovakia. And it is that day that we all rejoice in the gift of these two great saints whose desire was for their people to be able to understand the word of God and to store up treasures for themselves, not of this world, but of the heavenly kingdom. Let us turn to the Lord and bring him all of our needs. We pray for Pope Francis and all bishops. May God guide them in serving with wisdom and humility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our world that the Holy Spirit may help to unite people across cultures, races, and religions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that there may be an end to abortion and an end to useless bickering and all work together for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's also pray, excuse me. <coughs> Let us pray for those who are lonely May the Lord reveal his abiding presence to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We're all gathered to get together today virtually. May the Holy Spirit help us to discern God's will in our lives and then act upon that will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick, that they may be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who have died in the hope of rising again. May the Lord in his mercy bring them to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Now we take all of these prayers, those that we have spoken aloud and those that remain in the silence of our hearts. Let us lift them up to God our Father. Let us pray just as our Savior taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you give us all we need. Receive our prayers and look favorably upon them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so I'm just going to ask you today, if this week, if you would keep me in your prayers. Uh, Father Joffrey, who is one of my associates, he went to Uganda to, um, he does some ministry there for places that are very impoverished. And so he will be gone to the end of the month. 
My other associate, Father Daniel, he, is go he left yesterday for Colombia in order to work on some visa issues. And so I am now here alone at St. Michael's and will be celebrating many Masses. And you know, a lot of times that when I am alone and sometimes may feel a little bit overworked, the devil starts working on me and starts scratching at my back and really allows the, some anger to come out and, you know, things that are never pleasant for a priest. So I do ask you to pray for me. And in a special way, you know, I know this is going to be kind of silly, but on the 15th, you know, tomorrow, my, my little dog, well, he's not little, he's 100 pounds, been with me for eight years, is going to have surgery to remove a cancerous tumor on his leg. And of course, my dog's name is Mickey. Mickey is fine. Daddy's a mess. But, you know, with God's grace, we'll all get through it. And as always, God's will be done. So just a little prayer for me, and I would appreciate it as I continue to pray for you. May the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Faith of our sisters, brothers too, who still must bear oppression's might, raising on high in prisons dark, the cross of Christ still burning bright. Faith for today, O living faith, we will be true to you till death. Faith born of God, O call us yet, bind us with all who follow you, sharing the struggle of your cross until the world is made anew. Faith born of God, O living faith, we will be true to you till